photoelectric effect, before we demonstrate a photo cell, let's one last time just look at what, what's happening in terms of a complete circuit. So we know that if I shine sufficient energy light, light of photons which have sufficient energy, they're going to release the electrons, the electrons will be emitted, and if this end is positive, they'll get accelerated over towards the positive anode. I need to keep an eye on my time because I'm only three minutes in total. So, uh, let's say I flash the light, hits it, and in this case I have exceeded the work function so electrons are being released. If I decrease the energy by coming down to here, let's say, flash the light, and nothing gets released. So one more time, let's increase it, flash the light, electrons are released. If I now increase the wavelength or the frequency above that, what's going to happen? Same amount faster. If you increase the wavelength. What about the number of electrons? Same. Come on faster. More, come on faster. Uh, same number of electrons? Yeah. So here we go again. So again, it's the same number of electrons by increasing the energy. But what's different? The main goal they caused. Yeah, they now have the electrons which have been emitted now have more energy because they've got more energy from the photon which went in. So if I increase the intensity, what will happen? More electrons. You'll get more electrons because basically there's more photons of light going in. So you get more electrons reaching the far side. If I increase the voltage, what will happen? They'll go quicker. Because? Why should they be more, more positive? Yeah, they'll go quicker because. Oh, wait, they'll go back. Yeah, they'll go back. Well, it depends which way I'm, it depends whether I'm making this guy positive or negative. So if I'm making this guy negative and that guy positive, then they're going to go back. So let's go all the way over to the flash one more time. So this end here is positive, so they're being attracted backwards. If I put it the other way around, I flash the light, this tends to go all the way over. So there's no voltage between them. And you get a tiny little problem. Anyway, let's come back here. Uh, this is used in practice in something called the photocell. Same idea as what we had yesterday for the photoelectric effect. Photoelectric effect, all I wanted to do was shine UV light onto zinc, and it released the electrons. And we were able to demonstrate that. In this case, we won't be using UV light. We're just going to use ordinary visible light. And we can do that because what does that tell us about the metal that's inside here? Lower, lower, which lower work function. Now, I don't know what metal it is. And strictly speaking, it might just be copper, but that's coated with a metal with a lower work function. So the bottom line is, even visible light will release the electrons from the negative cathode here. In this case, just like the simulation, we want them to be attracted to the anode. So in this case, we make the anode positive. And so the cathode is going to be the negative bit. The anode is going to be the positive bit. And I put this around here. At this stage, if the electrons do flow, we should end up with a point. You know, ideally, yeah, something like that would work. So at the moment, no light is shining on it, so there's no current. I've got a voltage, so my anode is at about a potential difference of about 4 volts with respect to the cathode. This time, as I shine light on the cathode, it releases the electrons. The electrons go to the anode, and as a result, they go all the way around the circuit. So all you're looking for here is to see, do we get current when we shine the light on? As I bring it there, you can see it's not an awful lot. You're talking about microamps, but you are getting current as you shine the light on. And if I take the light away, you're not getting any. So once again, it's releasing electrons, causing a current to flow. That's a little bit similar to a concept we come up with in a different chapter. This is called the photoelectric cell, sometimes called the photocell for short. But it's shining light on something, causing electron to flow, similar to LDR. What's an LDR? Light dependent resistor. Light dependent resistor. So in this case, in the, with semiconductors, you're reducing the resistance of the material, making it much easier for current to flow around. So what actually happens now is these are pretty much obsolete. These guys, obs in fact, in terms of Wikipedia, when I looked up photocell, almost every reference it gave me was for light dependent resistors. Okay, but these technically they're old-fashioned um, and they're rather bulky, and you can't miniaturize them as much as you can miniaturize a semiconductor device. So you don't see too much of these anymore. But they are in the syllabus, and you do have to know how they work. You have to be able to give a label diagram of, of this setup here, and you have to be able to explain how it works. Uh, you have to be able to give a couple of examples. So our examples basically are the line, along the lines of you have current flowing while the light is shining on it. Now, if someone was to walk past, what would happen to the current? It would break. Okay, the circuit would basically break, so the current would drop. And you can use this in different applications. You can have it for some way to count devices. So every time the current stops, it sets off a second circuit which activates a counter. So that will be one. That, so you've got a conveyor belt. One, two, three, 
4. Similarly, it can be used to activate burglar alarms. If somebody does a constant flight between here and this guy here being the receiver, somebody walks past it, your circuit is broken, and again, that can set off a burglar alarm. Or it can be used to say somebody is coming close to a building, so you could use that to activate uh, automatic doors, which would open up. Okay? So applications, automatic doors, counting devices on conveyor belts, burglar alarms. Fairly straightforward, it's called the photoelectric cell, and that's it set up right there. Okay.